Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back. It's the Motorsport Show on Hilal Live. Thanks for watching us on Channel 347 and also on our live stream, www.hilal.tv. We continue with uh, various individuals that make a difference in the motorsport industry. And we thought, let's invite the good people from Maestri's Motors in. In studio, I'd like to welcome Niven and V Maestri. Good evening and welcome. Good evening. Thank Thanks. you for having, Thank us. You for having us. I was just waiting. Who's going to answer first? That would tell me who's the boss. In the business. <laughs> there we go. I thought as much. I thought I as much. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming in. You guys have been around in the motorsport industry for a while. Uh, tell us about the various, uh, give us a bit of history first okay, of the so business. Mainstream motorsport is coming around since the 70s. Oh. My dad was the first, one of the first non-white racing drivers in South Africa. Amazing. And in Brackben, Maestri Motorsports. Wow. Started. Okay. So, Down south. Yeah. And in, he used to work on road trees and that kind of stuff. Hmm. So I decided to keep the, keep the name going. Brilliant. Brought it to Cape Town. Nice. Okay. Is it still, do you have a franchise still in Johannesburg? My, my dad's passed on, but okay. my brother so is here with a different name. He didn't take uh, the name. He's in Boxburg. He's got Dark Glass Performance. I see. Yeah. And now that you moved to Cape Town, and how long have you been here for? 27, 28 years. Great. Okay. So what are the various services that you offer? All right. So we do normal servicing. We do panel beating. We do race car mm -hmm. development. We do carbon cleaning. We own Carbon Kings SA. Okay. Yeah. So basically anything motor vehicle, gotcha. we do it. Gotcha. Now, that is a very specialized industry. And let's face it, sometimes the industry hasn't been given a very good name because sure. some people don't, maybe haven't delivered the best service. And I, and I say this with tongue in cheek. Uh, but then, then those are like yourselves who've been around for so many years, built up a name for yourself. How do you maintain that relationship with your clients? Uh, v, maybe you're the best person to answer this one. Are you the relationship manager? Oh, uh, a little bit. The <laughs> phone rings off the hook, so he's definitely the first port of call. Oh, right. But um, I think the way we maintain our relationships is we treat our customers like family. Nice. I mean, we don't just see to the dad's car. We've got the mom's car, mm. the kids' cars. We know kids from the time they were little. Mm -hmm. Going into varsity now, we're still looking after their cars. Nice. You know, getting them ready. I think we're very much also in the area that we're in. Very community. Okay. Uh, and which area is that, sir? We in the comic area. Comic oh, yeah. 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 area. You comic are so <laughs> spoiled. That's going <laughs> to work. Come on, guys. <laughs> we got, we got a niche niche of clients. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> lovely. So we, we like tend to their kids grow up with our kids and, mm. you know, it's like just filters mm. on. Um, and we have that relationship, mm. personal relationship with our That's clients. Yeah. And, and yeah. being husband and wife in a business as well, I would imagine. There are times, no. <coughs> yeah. You, <laughs> let's not go into let's not go into a counselling se session. Uh -huh. But how does it how does it work? Husband and wife, you 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 obviously it has the trust issue. I'm a very OCD person. Okay, okay. And my my guys know I'm just I treat a car like I treat your car like my car. Right. And I'm I'm just hands on okay. on everything, and she's got my back there. Nice. <laughs> and how long have you guys been married? We're going for 20 years now in April. Wow. But we've been together for about 30 years. Awesome. But we've known each other all our lives. Kids as well. I saw some kids in the first Yeah, season. our oh, eldest daughter. daughter's going to university this year to the QCT. Wow. And the younger one is in grade 11, almost Stunning. out. Oh, Stunning. Stunning. Yeah. <laughs> so is that your car? The yeah, yellow one? Some of them, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's so, one of them yeah, as well. Yeah. So, so what are these cars? The yellow one we saw was a Ferrari? Ferrari, yeah. Okay, which one is that? The 458 Italia. Four, ah. Oh. Classic. I worked very hard for that. Classic. Exactly. And then this one is a? That's an RX-7. Oh, nice. That's, uh, I got it from my brother. Okay. I bought it from him. Uh, 250 made in the world. It's a specific Series 8. Hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. So there's two in South Africa. And that looks like a? Supra. Supra. Porsche. And then the Porsche as well. Uh, which one is that? 93? 911 Turbo. Oh, that's a 911. Yeah. Okay, looked a bit different from the back. Stunning. And obviously your M5? Uh, 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 3 to 5 IS. Uh, sorry, the yeah, 3 to 5 IS. Yeah, the the IS, that's the a beautiful ish. car as well. <laughs> okay, so, so you like the classics. You like in each of the low end to high end as well. Maintaining those cars, um, do you just keep your hand on it when you, when you need to? No, I'm also OCD, so like, <laughs> I'm talking, I'm talking, I've got a GTR, every 500 k's I change the oil. Oh, she, wow. My daughter's uh, Q3, every 5,000 k's I'm servicing, she, she tells me I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's look at the high-end cars. You've now also been elected as the chairperson of the Cape Town um, Supercar Club. Super car club. Yes. Congratulations. No, thank you very what much. Is that, what does that entail? And uh, tell us how that works. Okay, so lovely. We have a 
a, a board of trustees mm-hmm. and we run the supercar club. So the supercar club is runs charity events and okay. that kind of stuff. So we do a lot of charity events, weekends away. We enjoy the car because uh, it's people that have come up from nothing and made right. it, you know. Stunning. And so we get together and we talk about our businesses or just we become family. Mm. And you don't feel guilty for your pleasures amongst these people. And it's a specialized yeah. community as well, because like you said, you become family. Yeah, You're right, exactly. you don't feel guilty for yeah. your pleasures because you've worked hard. That's right. And for those that can afford to spoil themselves. But I like the aspect of the charity that you give back. You do so what of type that. of charity events do okay, you have? Okay, so mostly, most of what we do, a lot of charity events where we, we, we take out certain amount from the services and put it towards like animal shelters and that kind of stuff. Okay. Okay, so and on the, with the supercar runs, we do uh, runs where we, donations, we go take, like in December, we took a whole lot of orphans for drives in the cars. Yeah. We just lined them up and we drove them. them yeah. And it was like the eyes came out and we yeah. told them, this is what you can do. Now, the guy who did it was Fred. Okay. Fred came from the area and he okay. also grew yeah. up. Oh. So we gave back to that yeah. area. Nice. Tolbach, yeah. we went Tolbach. Tolbach. Okay. That's awesome, man. So your runs that you would do, it start from Cape Town, and what are the various routes that you, you would take? We go to Hermanus, we go to Paul, we go all over. Just nice. have fun. Yeah. Yeah. And look, those are lovely drives as well, because the roads are quite nicely, you know, sorted as well, and that you could... Open the car up a little bit. Yes, one twenty. Uh. <laughs> so the, <laughs> I got you. Uh, the evolution of cars, especially yes. the supercars. Um, do you service the top end as well? We do. We okay, because that must cost a, a pretty penny for someone to service those cars. I'll give you an example with my own car. A pair of shocks was ninety-one thousand from mm. a dealer. Wow. I did it for fifteen thousand, and I brought the the parts in myself. Parts. Oh, wow. So, okay. I mean, I do servicing for guys work, and I use the exact same parts. They're like, mm. how do you do that? Yeah. It's yeah. about the passion. Of and course. We, and, and, and in South Africa, the prices are hectic, you know. Mm. Like we mm. pay premium. Uh, do you find that a lot more people are putting themselves in supercars? Uh, do, are they enjoying that aspect? They're growing, yeah. Mm. Especially at the younger generation, supercar drivers. Are yeah. But what advice do you have for those that want to get into a supercar? Because let's face it, it's very different from driving an ordinary car. First it's very all, specialized. First of all, the sky's the limit. Mm. Put your goal out there, work towards it. Once you get the car, go to Kilani, do a, a driver's course and stuff. Okay. And then slowly get yourself into the vehicle. I like that. Like don't that. get out of full mm. power or whatever and expect, yo, the car's going to handle You don't know how to drive a car. Mm. Mm. And we've been racing for years. Mm. You know? mm. Mm. What are some of the wonderful stories you have been in this car industry? Because definitely your passion speaks about um, being in this indus- industry so many years and you've maintained and you've remained in this industry for so many years. What are some of the wonderful stories you'd like to share with us? You know, when people come to me and tell me, you're, you're so well known in this community. You, mm. Your name is so good. This is why we come to you. This makes me feel good mm. that I'm doing something. You know, nice. and like a TS Animal Shelter comes to me, Mr. Maestri, thank you for everything you do for us, mm. and also helping those people. You know, right. the people that are down and out and don't have money, mm. and and hugging a person that's crying and telling mm-hmm. him, I will sort out your car. Don't worry wow. about it. And that yeah. that that's me. That's phenomenal. And that's her as well. That's, that's how okay. we are. So it's a good team that you guys have supporting a community. <coughs> nice. So now the kids are starting to get into the cars as well? They've been in all the time. <laughs> do you yeah, guys do any specific that. races? Yes. Okay. I used to do track before, okay. but we both drag race. So ah. Yeah. Okay. You still drag race? Yes. What cars do you? Tell it's me about your cars. Now I've got to know more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Let's start with V. I raced a few cars. The last one was I was racing his R35. Mm-hmm. GTR, yeah. Yeah, the GTR. Oh, that's a lovely Whacked car. Whacked him a couple of times. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, really she still reminded you about that, that hey? Yeah, and <laughs> the, the, and funny is, <laughs> <laughs> the funny <laughs> thing is when we started off here in the 2000, our sponsor was Sherry Reynolds. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and he's going to be up next. Yes, yes. he's going to be up next. That is so, so cool. So we grew up with Sherry Reynolds. Yeah, full circle. Things. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. You know, and this is what I like about listening to you guys, that it's such a family of, of people that come from various parts of the world exactly. and have just found this like, there's this, con- you know, connectivity yeah. uh, to keep them together. We're going to get you in there as well. Oh, <laughs> my name's on a Ferrari any day. Yeah, I mean, that's good. lovely if I can fit in. Um, yeah. but, but how do you feel as a lady driver? I mean, surely 
uh, there must have been some chips. There must have been comments. It was always, oh, Mrs. Maestri for the win. No, it's been great. And there's other female drivers as well. Stunning. So there is a little bit of a community. Lovely. Yeah. Um, but how do you like, handle being in the car? That is it. Uh, are you? Have you always been wanted to be by behind the wheel, or have you found that somewhere along the line? No, uh, with being married to this man, I had to do something gotcha. to get involved. Okay. <laughs> so he put me in the car, showed me what to do, and I loved it from day oh, one. Man. Just, that is so just, cool. Yeah. I like that. We got to have you back in Women's uh, Month, right? Uh, yeah. Definitely. No, no, definitely. But that's a cool thing about us in terms of the business as well. Yeah. So we have the same goals, mm. same likes, and. Uh, Community can see that as well. We nice. family, we look after you. Stunning, you know, stunning. So, yeah. But Nevin, uh, it's been an absolute pleasure having you guys. Same in here. V. Thank you. I mean, you have wonderful story. I'm sure we can sit around a fire and talk oh, no. for many, many yeah. hours yeah. about some yeah. of the wonderful yeah. stories. And and the reason I brought you guys in to say thank you for being there, part of the community. Thank you for your commitment to the motorsport industry, but also most importantly, thank you for being you guys and 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 being <laughs> married and and staying married in this industry as well. What an absolute pleasure. Um, last parting words that you would like to to say to our viewers in terms of your business, because this is an opportunity to for them to come and visit you uh who would, wouldn't want to take a drive out to comic here just <laughs> experience that part of the world but more importantly experience your service mm, definitely come down come chat to us we're always there to advise we do free assessments for you guys mm. whatever your needs are we will help you fantastic Nivin and v thanks so much for thank coming you. in all the very best thank, thank you, you very, very much, much my pleasure us. that's maestri's garage in the studio maestri's motors my apologies in studio and if you are in the comic key area or if you're looking for someone to service your car these are the guys to have a chat to after the break uh, you've heard his name being mentioned so many times sharif uh, he's going to be up next <laughs> and uh, we're gonna uh, chat to him and uh, do an up close and personal about his life in the motorsport industry and he's a biker so if you're biker uh, the whatsapp line is going to be open do correspond with us as well if you are still watching hilal live